Hi guys, Cletus here, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Get Out. If you're new to this channel, we are all about adventure, and that's what we're going to do today. Stay with me as I search the ground where I used to grow up on, down the creek, to find the big rocks. I always thought this spot right here would be a great spot to put just a little cabin to come in uh, and stay in for the weekend. We've got this beautiful overlook into the bottom. Nice sledding hill right there. Of course, it drops off after about that point right down there. And then you'd, you'd probably hit a crick. But, you know, you got a nice little flat area. Might need to cut a few trees, but I think it'd be a great spot to put a little tiny cabin. When I was a youngster growing up out here, I used to walk the creek quite a bit. And I remember that there was these huge rocks that I just thought was really awesome. So I'm going to take you with me today, see if I can find those big rocks back and see if they're as big as what I remember. Okay, so now I'm at the fork where the small creek here meets the bigger creek. And as you can see, there's lots and lots of deer coming. This ice is very thin, so I know it's not going to support me. So I've worn my uh, water boots here. The deer have been running across it right here. Let's see what we got here. Can we make it? I don't know. So far so good. All right, we made it across that part. And that's one of the deeper sections. It may have not been much over my boots, but it would have definitely got in my boots if I would have fallen through. So that's why I took it kind of slow. Check these out. You think that could be a bobcat? Seems awful small to be a coyote and doesn't look like a coon. All along the snow of the river. I've never seen a bobcat out here, but I know they're here. Looks like we're coming up to a spot up here where it does get a little deeper. It is just so awesome and peaceful out here in the middle of the woods on this awesome creek. And it's 19 degrees right now, but when you're out like this in the middle of the woods, down in the bottoms, you don't feel any of the wind. Whenever you're exerting yourself, you're keeping yourself warm. And you can see where all the little critters go whenever it snow is on fun to see that I had lots of deadfall out here I have to come down and clean this up one of these days I think I might have found my big rocks I'm gonna go over here and see if it's really them Well, it's a big rock. I just thought it may have been bigger. But there's three of them. I 
Big chunks of rock. Actually, there's more than three. So just a big pile of big rocks is really all that is. You can see where a couple of animals got into a little slippy slide right here on the ice. See their footprints. Looks like they may have been playing. Or possibly a little scuffle. Looks like two different types of tracks, so it could be bobcat, a coyote, could be two coyotes, could be a mom and a baby coyote, just having a little fun out here on the ice. This looks like a family. All these little tracks, all congregating into the one spot. And you've got broken ice right there for a drink. And some more broken ice down there. So just a great little spot to be out here having some fun. But this right here, guys, this is what I'm going to call my funky tree of the day. You can just see how the water has uh, tormented this old tree throughout the years. Look at this exposed root ball. Look at that. That probably has to be one of the funkiest trees I've ever seen. It's parts like these that are the hardest to cross, or at least uh, the scariest, because they're so wide you don't know if it's going to support you or not. But I'm going to give it a shot, see what happens. Now, if you're wondering why I was sliding my foot like that, it was because I was trying not to put all my weight in one spot. So, you know, if one foot would go, at least I would have my other foot to fall back on, hopefully. But that is my uh, way of kind of checking the ice out in front of me. So, if it does begin to crack, I can pull back. Nothing but hills and trees. Kind of gives you that alone feeling out here. And I was right. I found my rocks. After I seen the first pile of rocks, I started thinking, it's like, I think I passed rocks before I actually found the bigger rocks. And that's what I found now. I seem to remember I could swim around them a little bit. That would be this section right here. And there's the bigger rocks. Right there. <laughs> nice little footprints, little squirrel footprints right there. All right, I'm gonna go over here and climb on these babies. Just excellent out here. And I found my old rocks. Guess uh, nobody picked them up and carried them off. That is awesome to see. It is exposing more sandstone than what I remember from the past, but it's been like 20 years since I was down here. Guys, thanks for coming with me today on my journey out to find the big rocks. If you haven't already, please become a subscriber to the channel right up here. And for more great biking, hiking, and kayaking videos, click right down here. We'll see you next time.